I'm so glad you're looking into becoming a registered nurse because there's no job like it. But I do want to make this video to let you know of some of the challenges that you're going to face once you're out of school that I have noticed a lot of new grads are not prepared for. And even though this video is going to be a little on the dark side, I feel like it's something that you need to watch and see um, and just so that you can be prepared. So let's jump into those tips right now. Real quick before we start, my name is Jamie. I'm a registered nurse. I've been a registered nurse since 2006 and now I'm a professor. I spent most of my time in ERs um, and then now I teach first semester fundamentals and I have seen both new grads, I have seen students and then my own peers and colleagues go through some difficult challenges in nursing and I wanted to make this video so that you can go in fully educated on what you're about to embark upon. So I want to start with the first thing that you need to be aware of when you're going into registered nursing and that is that it is a very stressful job. Now you will get the hang of it, you will be educated, you will make friends upon in your unit and you're, you're going to be okay but you just need to know that the demands both emotionally and physically and mentally are unlike any other job. I have a really, really good friend who is in a very high stress job, but in her job, if something doesn't get done, no one is going to die or become injured. So it's just on a whole different level when you are a registered nurse. People's lives are literally in your hands. Just know that it is an extremely stressful profession. Now you can work in different areas that aren't as stressful as time goes by, but typically when you're a new grad and you're gonna go into your first job, it's in a hospital setting, on a medical surgical floor, or the ER, or the ICU, or a telemetry, like heart monitoring unit, and those are all going to be stressful with people who are, you know, have a lot of needs and are suffering and in pain or scared and they need a lot of you know care and reassurance so it's just stressful and if you tend to suffer from anxiety or depression now just make sure that you learn good coping strategies so that you can deal with now a very intense job because there are ways to manage it and i can make a video all about that but it's just something that i want you to be aware of i ran a new grad residency program for a few years and that just means that I ran classes to teach nurses when they very, very first graduated from school. So it was their first job. And with every cohort that I had, there was at least one, and I say at least one, registered nurse who was just like, I can't deal with this stress. I'm quitting and quitting forever, quitting nursing altogether. And it's just like you go through so many prereqs and years of school and clinicals and stress that I would feel sad for them that this was something they wanted to do and now they're leaving because it's a stressful job. So just know that it's a stressful job and you're gonna have to find ways to cope with that. I do have a video on burnout and compassion fatigue and stress management for nursing. I'll link it at the end of this video if you wanna watch it. Okay, let's talk about the schedule. The schedule is one of the most misleading things in nursing. I can't even explain to you Everyone says, oh, you're a nurse, so you just work three 12-hour shifts? Three 12-hour shifts will kick your butt. So yes, you only work three 12-hour shifts, but they're 12-hour shifts of running around like crazy. So much responsibility, so much emotional energy all around you all day long that three 12-hour shifts is a lot. Be ready for three 12 hour shifts to not be a walk in the park. It's great. And if you are going into nursing and you're relatively young, you'll have energy to do these three 12 hour shifts. You can stack them together in the beginning of the week and then have many days off and go on trips. I mean, it's wonderful, but I'm just saying it's a lot to work three 12 hour shifts. It's not like, oh, I just have this easy breezy job because I work three 12-hour shifts. No, 
it will work you so hard. So you also work night shift when you're first starting out for the most part. And there's some good things about night shift. Night shift, the crew on night shift just is notoriously way cooler than day shift. I mean, I always worked day shift because I had children, but the night shift people were the cool kids on the block, I will say for sure. Um, there's less uh, admin, there's less administrators, there's less family members visiting, and hopefully your patients are sleeping more than they are during the day. So um, there is something to be said for night shift, but uh, you know, it messes with your sleep patterns. So you're gonna want to make sure you get blackout curtains and a noise machine and have an air conditioner somehow in your house so that you can sleep well during the day. Nurses always work weekends and holidays. Um, once you're a nurse for a little while, you can get a job where you work at like a doctor's office or in a surgery center or somewhere where it might be closed on the weekends or holidays, but I'm gonna say 90% of nursing jobs, you will work weekends and holidays. In fact, I have been a nurse for 18 years. I am a professor, which I have nights and weekends and holidays off, but I have a second job, which I love and I'm never gonna give up, that I work weekends and holidays still. So, I mean, I still work weekends and holidays. And that can be hard when you have young kids because they are doing all the sports and everything on the weekend. So just be mindful of that. But the schedule, everyone thinks that it sounds so amazing. It's actually pretty challenging to work a nurse's schedule. Nursing is very physically demanding. We walk so much. I think the last time I clocked my steps when I was working on a unit, I walked like 15,000 steps in my shift. So that equals like, what, eight miles or something and you're lifting patients, transferring patients, cleaning patients who can't even you know, move themselves. It's very physically demanding. So you're gonna need rest, you're gonna need to eat well, you're gonna need to take very good care of yourself on your four restful days off. That last comment just reminded me, somebody in the comments from one of my other videos uh, did not care for my sarcasm. So yes, I'm very sarcastic. I am very sarcastic, I'm sorry, it comes out. So yes, your four restful days, make sure you eat and sleep very well. In nursing, we have very heavy workloads and we're oftentimes short staffed. And then it can be kind of a toxic environment that you're not really, I'm not really wanting to say it's toxic, toxic, but it can be because we do have a responsibility to take care of our patients. And so sure enough, the hospital admin and your charge nurses will be like, we're so short, you know, on Easter, we need you to stay over or we need you to come in. And since you're probably wanting to help people, you have that nature that you're gonna wanna help out. And just be careful of that because you really don't wanna overwork yourself. And when you are working on your three 12 hour shifts, you are earning every penny that you make. And so you really need to embrace your days off if possible, I mean, I'm hardly one to say this because I always have worked a lot, so I get it, but just do it on your own terms. Don't be, you know, questioned to come in or be made to feel bad because you don't want to pick up extra or help out the team or the family or whatever. Just, it's heavy workloads while you're there. There's always going to be short staffing no matter where you go, so take care of you and let the hospital figure it out for themselves. So those are some of the negative things about nursing. Um, do stick around and watch my awesome things about nursing here. And then I also have the surprising things about nursing over here. And thanks for watching. Okay, see you in the next video.